What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. It's finally getting warmer and soon it's gonna be really hot. So I'm going to put to the test a bunch of drink cooling gadgets. Let's see what they're all about. This one is a first boost. Let's open it up and see how it works. Looks like we need 9 volt battery. So I'm gonna put one in, I'll be right back. Actually it takes three AAA batteries, three of them. And then what you want going to do is stick this soda like this. There you go. But first of all, let's see how hot is this soda. Right now it's at room temperature. Let's see if it's actually going to cool it off at all. Pretty much room temperature soda. So this is how you use it. You stick it in, then you're going to pour ice in there. Not too much as you can see. So that way it actually closes. So very little bit of ice, doesn't take too much ice at all. Okay, then we're going to close it and then we're going to press it right here and it's going to spin. Oh wow, it actually spins pretty fast. I could probably put another piece of ice in there. Let's see if it's actually cooling off at all. 30 degrees, wow, 28 degrees, wow, 20 degrees instantly, that's insane. 29 that's so awesome okay it looks like it's cold enough take this out put it away it definitely feels really really cold that's awesome let me taste it see if it tastes like icy cold coke wow it's delicious tastes like just out of a refrigerator and as you can see, I let it sit for 30 seconds and I opened it and it didn't explode even though it was spinning like crazy in the first boost. So, pretty awesome. Okay, let's check out the next gadget. For this gadget, I got here Chillomatic, ice cold in 60 seconds. Once again, I got here another room temperature soda. Let's open it up and see how fast can it cool it off. Will it actually cool it off in 60 seconds? Let's find out. AAA batteries once again. I'm gonna steal it from this one. There you go. And this one right here, you put the batteries in, you press it and this thing spins. And right here is a suction cup, you just put it inside here. And I guess you put this inside here and then it sucks it pretty good. And then you put it inside here, it slides in this way I guess. There you go, that looks awesome. Now we're going to put a bunch of ice in there. Boom. I would recommend putting soda can in first, then ice, so that way everything fits easily. And then you put the cover in. Let's see how this goes. Like that. Boom. And now it's supposed to do it in 60 seconds. It will cool everything off. As you can see, it spins like that. It makes sense. It should cool it off really, really fast. All that ice rubbing on every single corner of the can makes it really cool. Also, liquid inside is mixing, so that way it cools off faster as well. Okay, I think it's been 60 seconds. I'll turn it off. Let's see how cold that is. Wow, 28 degrees on a can. 29 that's amazing 27 even hit wow in just 60 seconds even less so now i can just pull it out and i guess i have to pop this open like this boom and your soda coke is ready to go wow it's really chilly to the touch as well amazing love it and look i still have eyes to do another one you know what guys, definitely thumbs up for me for this gadget. I like that one a lot as well. Both are really cool designs and they actually do work. Fantastic. For the next two gadgets I got here, Spin Chill Chill Bit, like a drill bit. And this is the same company, Spin Chill, but you don't need a drill for it. It already has the spinner in there. So let's see what they do. First of all, I'm going to put to the test Spin Bit. You got yourself a regular soda any kind of can soda, stick it in, boom. But first of all, let me put it into the drill. 
then we're gonna put it in to the can like this and then we're going to spin it then you got yourself the ice like this usually you would do it in the cooler with the ice i don't really need a cooler right now and then you spin it like this oh it fell off a little bit let me show you close up how it works you put it in like this and spin it Okay, pop this open. Oh yeah, definitely feels really cold. Well, I've never done this before. Chilled my soda with the drill. That's pretty funny. Well, let's see how this works. Let's open it up, boom. Very simple, same attachment, a little bit different, but you just need batteries for this one. That's it. AAA batteries, I wanna steal it from here. Oh, looks like I need four of them, okay. Okay, stick this thing in like this and then put it into the ice and then spin it this one spins a little bit slower than the drill but of course it's not as powerful as the drill is but this is not bad look at it, it's already at 40 degrees cools it so fast I think the butter is almost done. I need new butters. If it sits like that, it goes faster. Okay, that looks pretty cold in the 30s now. Okay, can turn it off. And now, honestly, when you touch it, it feels icy cold. I love it pretty cool for the next gadget i got here zero dilution this is probably the weirdest drinking cup i ever seen let me show it to you by opening it up boom look how big that is this is insane and i have big hands this is where you drink it from so this is why it's i guess a to go but let me show you what's so special about it boom you got here first container in here you got here second container and you got here a third container crazy isn't it so you put ice into here into the first container boom like this fill it up then you close it and ice and water stays in it it cannot escape into your actual drink then let's say you like to have cold coffee or iced coffee but i don't like coffee with ice because it's really diluting it with the water i don't not like to do this so and then you're going to put this ice little container into your beverage you can chill anything not just hot coffee just anything you like and then this you fill it up with ice as well this big container so maybe i'm gonna only fill it up one third of the way nope doesn't work like that maybe less ice definitely a little bit harder to add the second layer of ice in here you know it only fits a little bit of ice in this container to the bottom that's it it was really 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 hot coffee i just i just brewed it but now let's see i'm gonna give it another like 30 seconds let me taste it it's still warm it's definitely still warm so i probably have to keep it in there a little bit longer to cool it off oh yeah if i mix it like this a little bit it's definitely cools off really really fast you know what it's almost icy cold now and there you go it tastes really cold so it stays icy cold beverage it tastes like iced coffee not frozen ice like 30 degrees it tastes like more like room temperature right now so i'd have to wait a little bit longer just keep mixing it like this or just fill it up and wait till it cools off for like a minute or so and there you go it's tastes colder and colder and colder 
it's pretty cool it works but it's kind of funny i did not expect for it to be such a big cup look at that this is a regular big cup about 12 ounces look compared to this one it's ginormous definitely not going to fit my cup holder in the car or anywhere but anyways i think it's a really cool design that's for sure So all your coffee stays in here and all your ice is inside of your drink or coffee. But look, it's all melted already. Wow, it cooled it off quickly. Oh yeah, it's pretty cold and I just brewed that coffee. So it did cool it off really fast. But anyways, let's check out the next gadget. For this gadget, this is a Cooper cooler. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Boom, this is the biggest one they make right here. Looks like this one is electric that is actually plugs to the wall. Okay, by the way, this actually can fit any bottles, not just soda cans right here. It can fit a bigger stuff too. But first of all, what I have to do is add water in there. Boom, just a little bit. And then next we're going to add I guess more ice. I think I can take this off if it's a bigger bottle. Let's say you need to cool off a bottle like this. You can stick it in and boom. Cool it off, no problem. But if you wanna just chill off soda, just stick it inside here. And let's plug it in and see what it's all about. Okay, let's see how it works. Can, bottle, wine, extra, no spin. But we're just going to do the can and start. Check this out. No way, look at that. Whoa, this is probably the coolest one. I'm gonna open it to show it to you. Look at that, the water is, whoa, icy cold. And look at that, it's spinning down. Right on the can. And it goes through the ice. Wow, and I guess this idea of what's making it spin. That's so cool. This is probably the best chiller for sure. Wow. Okay, it's been about a minute. Okay, let's see how cold it is. 35 degrees, 34 degrees right now. Wow, that's awesome. 38 on the top right here. That really cooled off really fast, icy cold. Love it. Let's try to chill the big bottle. So right here, let's say wine. Oh, for the wine, I guess it doesn't spin. Or is it just a bigger bottle? So you can press no spin. Because this bottle is a little bit too thick. But check this out. All that super, super cold water running through on a bottle and cooling off really fast and look because the water going through the ice look at that 29 degrees that's how cold this water is and in a couple of minutes maybe minute or two this whole bottle of wine is going to be just like 40 to 30 degrees as well look at that stop 39 40 degrees already and it was room temperature so we cool it off super fast in seconds and I see this is a definitely easy way to chill your drink. 